Guys, I have spent last 15 hours in game, but mainly in video editor to figure out how attack speed affects sniper hunting and which class is the best sniper rifle hunting class. Let's dive into it. So at the beginning, we're gonna look at three different shots with a, on the same class with a 24% attack speed. The reason why we need to do so is to de determine if there is any deviation between shots uh, if there is uh, like any animations that last longer for some whatever reason the frame that you can see in the, on the screen is the last frame of the mini game so if you go further you can see it disappears and it goes into the scoping in animation here you can see that this crosshair appears on this uh, the last shot uh, one frame earlier than the, uh, the other ones so uh, the one frame deviation is kind of normal, it seems like. Here it is appearing on the same frame. So uh, no deviations there. Here it can be different because it's of course user input. When you release the mouse button, it, sh it shoots. So here it is, uh, I'm freezing the last frame because it, uh, it got launched the first, it got shot the first. But when the shot is released, the uh, bottom a bar changes the color as you can see and that's when it is now going at the same time synced and it is uh, scooping out animation appearing at the same time the minigame appears at the same time but there is a big difference on the minigame screen uh, on the middle one you can click spacebar right away but on the first and last one it took one or two frames later on for uh, for the mini game to be able to click space. I assume that's because of the ping issues or something, but these are kind of the differences at the moment with the same attack speed. Uh, we can go further now. The next animation is a failed mini game of the reloading. So here is the, la the first uh, frame of the animation when the bullet becomes red and we can go further frame by frame and see if there is any differences and here is the frame so again one frame difference the two disappearing the first one disappears one frame earlier than the second the rest of it the crosshairs here appearing also different one frame or even two frame different so like deviations even between the same attack speed uh, shots there are can be one to uh, frame deviations here all the crosshairs are appearing at the same time the next animation we're looking at is the reload minigame animation let's go frame by frame and let's see if there is going to be any difference here the first animation ended and uh, one frame later so basically one frame difference so basically deviation of one or two frames seems like normal Anything about it, it is basically affecting the, the speed of the reloading of the mini games. And now we're gonna be looking at the different attack speeds. So at the moment on the screen, you can see 24% attack speed, 0% attack speed, and 0% attack speed with 140% overweight. Uh, the frame is the same, the last frame of the mini game, and here it becomes, uh, we can go frame by frame, the, crosshair appears on the 24% attack speed one frame earlier but that was uh, normal also in the previous shot so that is not uh, making any difference uh, here on the crosshair appearing when you are shooting starting to shoot appears five time five frames before the zero attack speed and it appears how many more six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 15 frames uh, before the 0% attack speed and 100% weight. So the scoping in animation is seems different. Then we start shooting. We are start shooting, charging up. We need to get to the line when uh, the colors are changed. So the first one was the first because as I said, it is user, user input. So it needs to be normalized. So we are freezed now on the frame where it is uh, blue. The color got changed to the blue and we are releasing the shot now. 
we are going to the scooping out animation and you guys can see that it is already 24% attack is much faster than uh, the rest of it. How much exactly faster we can count on the here with the frames 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. 15 frames from the zero attack speed and from uh, 140 weight is gonna be 20 something. Here is a speeded up version. I'll uh, input the numbers on the screen so we, you guys don't need to count it but basically the scooping in animation uh, is affected by attack speed and scooping out animation after the attack is uh, affected um, so those attack speeds we are going to be also comparing with the other classes further in the video Pyrok, scooping in, scooping in Maybe you meant to say scoping in animation, not scooping in. Now nah, let's go with scooping in. And now I'm gonna show you guys the animation of the mini game, if it is any different. But as you guys can see, I'm going fr frame by frame, and uh, this it does not change at all. Like it comes at the same frame, regardless of the attack speed. The mini game goes like normal. The next one is the failed minigame animation to see if it gets affected by attack speed. We go frame by frame once again and as you guys can see now it was exactly on the same frame I think. Okay so the one frame difference but as we guys saw on the first initial test even on the same attack speed one frame difference can be normal so attack speed doesn't get affecting the animation of uh, failing reload and scooping an animation we are again it's only how many yeah okay it's one two three four five once again five frames difference 24 attack, sp attack speed and zero attack speed and the weight is further on down line around 20 uh, frame difference Another thing that I forgot to mention, or rather showcase, is the the charging charging up of the shot is exactly the same. You guys can see here the charge starts here now, and we are charging up, charging up, and charged up. We are reached the yellow line exactly at the same time, no frame differences, and uh, the release of the shot, of course, was different because that's a, as I said, user input. So definitely scoping in and scoping out animations are affected by attack speed and now we're gonna take a look at the spreadsheet to see how exactly how much it affects the, the shot shooting in the game. So on this spreadsheet you guys can see what exact difference was in seconds. So for each shot, for each shot 0% speed versus 24% speed was a difference of 0.33 seconds. And that's one shot. It's quite small amount the difference, but approximately you do 600 shots per hour, more or less. You can go a bit higher probably even. But at 600 shots per hour, you're saving up approximately how many minutes? Three minutes, 3.33 minutes, which is basically 5.56% increase in your efficiency. You're saving up 5.56% time. So basically you will be able to pull at least 5.56% more money per hour than without attack speed. Weight limit is of course ridiculous uh, difference, 17.78%, but that this was just to see like the effect of the weight and the effect of the no attack speed, lower attack speeds. But currently it's 5.56%. Uh, is it high, is it low? Up to you guys decide but I definitely would uh, like to have 5% more if I can. And getting 24% speed is not that hard. Attack speed affects sniper hunting efficiency. And the question is, of course, which class is the best for sniper hunting? Well, Succession Ninja has 13% attack speed passives. What does it mean? Well, it's going to be much more efficient, yeah? Because 24% gave us how much it gave us. 5%, more than 5% increase in the efficiency of sniper hunting. So
So let's get into the comparison. We have here Ninja, Ranger and Valkyrie all have 24% attack speed, except Ninja it, it has its passive extra 13%. Who do you think guys is gonna be the winner? Let me know in the comment section. Who you're gonna bet? Let's go frame by frame and figure it out. So we're going frame by frame. Okay, let's go. It's the same frame it disappeared. The cross air is gonna appear most likely at the same time. So let's go in frame by frame. Okay. I skipped that one. Okay, Valkyrie got the first crosshair. Ranger got the second and the uh, Ninja got quite late crosshair. But I that might have been just a delay. And here we are having scooping uh, zooming in animation. Ninja got the first zooming in animation because of the attack speed, right? The 13% excess attack speed, it gets its two frames before. Two frames before the Ranger and the Valkyrie. Ranger and Valkyrie got at this exact same time. We're going in, we're starting the shoot, shooting. Uh, we are freezing the ninjas because it reached the, the blue version first. And here it goes. We have Ranger, Valkyrie, shooting animations going. And here it comes. The Ranger with instant going out of the animation. There are no skips there. This is just Ranger animation. It just goes after the shot. It instantly goes out of, out of the zooming into the reloading. While the other classes are still, even Ninja with a certain percent attack speed is still in the zoom animation. The Ranger is, voila, I don't know how many exactly frames. We'll be looking at the sketches later on, but here it is. Nin Ranger was the winner of this race. What a surprise, right? What a surprise. And then comes Ninja because he has more attack speed. And then it comes Valkyrie with the lowest attack speed. But even though Ranger had the same attack speed as the Valkyrie, it came first significantly faster because Ranger for some reason does not have animation or rather its animation is very strange. Like I don't have any skip frames here, right? It is the animation of the Ranger. It goes, the shot itself is very fast. It felt like it sped, sped up or something, the in-game sped up. Like it goes like very violently up and then it goes even more up and then it's going down. So basically Ranger has the shortest scoping out animation regardless of the attack speed. This is quite wild. This is quite broken. Should it be like that? Most likely not. I'm not sure if this is intended or, or if this is bug, but apparently Ranger also has like some different animations. It, it has like faster animation in uh, like climbing up and so on. So maybe all Ranger's animations are sped up, but then the zooming in animation is didn't sped up. It was the same as the Valkyries. And you will see that the other animations are also not sped up. Here we have the animation of the mini game, right? And it's gonna be exactly the same. It's gonna get even like Ranger is the last one to get, but it's one frame different. So it's uh, in, in normal deviation. Then we have here the test of a uh, failed mini game animation. And you guys can see that it's going to be exactly the same. I think Ninja is going to be here uh, faster because he has the most attack speed. Should be the first. Let's see. So we have this uh, one frame difference between uh, crosshair appearance, but that's like what's normal. And we have here yet here it goes one only one frame difference of zooming in after the failed animation so here is the spreadsheet showing the same animation counts the difference in seconds between 24% uh, attack speed valkyrie and the uh, ninjas you can you guys can see that the ninja 24% is only 1.67% increase while the ranger because of the its animation shorter animation is 6.67% increase. So having a Ranger is a better increase than having five attack speed. That's, that's how it goes guys. That's how it goes. But one thing I noticed that, that we are getting a certain percent increase on attack speed on Ninja, but we are getting only 1.67% increase in efficiency. Why it's so low? The first 24% was 5.56% and 
and 13% is only 167, you should have given more. And that's most likely because attack speed has diminishing returns or like the more attack speed yields the lesser benefits. So is it worth to roll to ninja to get this 1.67% approximately um, difference? Probably not. But is it worth to re-roll ranger? 6.67, that's quite a significant amount of increase. So because the attack speed has diminishing return, I wanted to test what is gonna be the difference when you have the maxed out attack speed. We are currently set up at 32% attack speed for Valkyrie, 32% attack speed for Ninja, and 32% attack speed for Ranger. So I wanted to see what the exact difference is gonna be for this case, the zooming in and zooming out animations. And of course we are starting at the same frame, we're going in the cross air animation is going to be appearing okay it appeared exactly at the same time it appeared exactly at the same time the zoom in and uh, able to shoot we have the crosshair on ninja one frame before the other classes only one frame even though ninja has certain percent increase more attack speed it's only one frame because guys remember the zero percent versus 24 percent was five frame difference and here on ninja it's only one percent difference so definitely attack speed have diminishing returns the more attack speed you have the less it gives so passive skill on ninja is uh, if you're pushing attack speed on sniper hunting is not that a big of a deal so we have charging up okay let's continue we're charging up the shot is gonna be here freeze for two of them and the release is happening at the same time ranger of course getting out of the animation the fastest and then the ninja and the Valkyrie is kind of very close to each other, it seems like. Let's see what is the difference between Valkyrie and ninja. One, two, three, four, five. Only five frames. So it was one frame on the zooming in animation and five frames at the end of the animation. So it's the difference is very, very small. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet. There is the Valkyrie, ninja and ranger the animations shot, the difference between Ninja versus Valkyrie is 167, the difference between Ranger and Valkyrie is 6.39. The interesting thing about this number 167 is that it's exactly the same increase efficient efficiency wise that was in uh, attack speed 24% attack speed versions, which means even at 24% attack speed it already reached the diminishing return for the attack speeds. So I was hoping to Ninja if you want to get a, a bit extra spice, like 1.12% extra, then yeah, Ninja is gonna be great. But if you want to get the maximum, then the Ranger, it seems like is insanely valuable, 6.67 and 6.39%. Uh, seems like with a higher attack speed, it's also getting like lower down. But uh, to be honest with the Ranger, with this increase, you can do way more shots per hour than 600. I assume you can go up to 700. The more shots you do, the more efficient, the more bonuses you will get because this is uh, you're saving up time on each shot. Yeah, so if you're doing 700, 800 shots, then it is going to be becoming seven, eight percent different versus the normal class, basically. So is this normal, guys, to have this quite a big amount of difference in efficiency for a class because the class have an animation that is way shorter than other classes. I would say that for hunting, you can make all classes equal. What they should do for sniper hunting and rifle hunting, they should remove the effects of the passives. It should not give anything, any benefits. All classes should be equal. And in this case for Ranger, having extra six, 7% efficiency just because the animation is so much shorter. I don't think that's a good game design. I don't think it helps anyone. What it does is it forces people to basically, if, you, if they want to feel that they're not missing out, if they are wanting to be the best, doing the best, pulling the best number, they need to roll to this class. We all talk about PV imbalances, yeah? PV imbalances, like 
some classes are boosted as hell some classes are barely can grind and today today we got or rather this week we got finally some kind of plus class changes will be better hopefully it's gonna be better it's doing something but the thing is it's quite complex to balance all those classes but for hunting it is quite simple get rid of the passives from affecting hunting because also succession striker with a 25 percent crit rate versus a class that has zero crit rate is gonna be approximately 11 to 15 percent more efficient at killing rhinos and other normal hunting mobs so it's quite wild to have something like that in game in my opinion so well i hope pa will change it i hope pa will change it but for now you guys saw the results ranger is the beast and uh, if you want to sniper hunt go for a ranger until hopefully one day they will fix it